Thank you very much, Dr. Hovidal Sotu, Project Director of the Task Force for Music and Arts Government of Nagaland. Honorable Governor of Nagaland and Assam, Professor Jagdish Mukhi. Madam Governor, Madam Mukhi. Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, Mr. Nipi Rio. Most gracious wife of Honorable Chief Minister Nana Kaisa Rio. Dr. Vanlal Tanguya, Honorable Member of the Mizoram Legislative Assembly and Chairman of the Mizoram Youth Commission, Honorable Minister of Government of Nagaland and President of Nagaland State BJP, Mr. Denjani Nano, Professor Manoj Spant, Vice Chancellor of the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, Mr. Stanley Jones, President of the Telangana Athletic Association and Chairman of the Technical Committee of the Athletic Federation of India. Our good friend, General Koshik, IGA, Honorable Advisor, Mr. Medo Yoka, Delegates from the Mizoram Youth Commission, Senior Officers, Central and State Government, representatives of the press and media, officers and staff of the Task Force for Music and Arts, Government of Nagaland, ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, on behalf of TAFMA, on behalf of the organizers of this evening, we welcome you to our SEMPA, which is a center for performing arts, a center for music, a center that promotes creativity, innovation, and creates an environment for the arts and music to blossom and flower. Under the dynamic leadership and the vision of our Chief Minister, the Music and Arts Fraternity have called this place their very home. And it is this place, this center, that is today producing international stars, international musicians who are telling wonderful stories of Nagaland and the Naga people to the international community. We specially welcome our Honorable Governor and his gracious lady wife. We welcome Dr. T.P. to Nagaland with your delegation, Professor Manoj Pant and your delegation, Stanley Jones and your colleague, for coming and joining us today. All of you are here on different missions with your own assignments. But I want to thank you for partnering with us, for collaborating with us, and for believing in us. Nagaland is called as the land of It is not very easy to get to this corner of the country. A ride from Dimapur to Kohima makes you lose a bit of weight. But let me assure you that the smiles we give you, the handshakes we extend to you, are from the bottom of our heart. I would encourage you to not only carry out your professional and official duties, but take time out to visit villages of Nagaland, which are located on mountain tops. The heartbeat of the Naga people beats in the villages of the Naga mountains. I would like to give a brief introduction of this evening's program. The State Banker Hall in Nagaland is adorned with pictures of all past chief ministers. Some pictures are pretty old, some in black and white, differing in size and quality. Honorable Chief Minister one day pointed, us, pointed it out to us that we need to promote art and he would like every portrait of the chief ministers which adorned the walls of the state bank of all to be works of art. Under his guidance and his vision, Tafma commissioned paintings of each former chief minister of the state. Today, we are having an exhibition of those portraits. Very soon, those portraits will go to the walls of the state bank of all. It will not have access 
to everybody or a common man on the street. Therefore, this exhibition will extend to the end of the month and all public, all citizens of the state will come, view the portraits and participate in this exhibition. I want to also inform you that each portrait, though it is just a portrait of a former chief minister, each portrait has been done in consultation with the family of each former chief minister. Their views, their contributions and the pictures were submitted by them and then the artists got to work. We would like to thank the Honourable Chief Minister on behalf of the artist community for taking this bold step which may not look very big but let me tell you that is indeed significant because it is a huge symbolic sign that the government of Nagaland and the leadership of the day supports the aspirations of artists of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everybody, I welcome you again and I wish each and every one of you a pleasant evening. Thank you very much. God bless. Kupnalin Jaden. Thank you, Dr. Honorable Governor of Assam and of Nagali, Professor Jagdish Tuki, his precious lady wife, and friend from Mizoram, Dr. Colonel Tangboy, the Youth Commission Chairman.
was conceptualized and started when I took over as Chief Minister of Maryland in 2003. We want to promote the musicians, the artists, and promote youth in here, whatever talents they have, besides other activities. Tonight, as given assignment, the artists of our own Naga youth they have taken this task. I don't know how good they have painted, but doing by themselves, by our own people, is something memorable and it's historical. So, my position to be artist and they have gone to the history of the state government and it will always display in the way before. I think the media can splash the news that it will be on exhibition for this whole month. Those who may not visit the it will be an opportunity. Or even the family members of the former I think it will be nice. And then when they visit, the family members and the portraits, you should take a photograph so that you can create another computer book. That is my suggestion. Promoting music and the talented youths, the musicians, the singers, are plenty, but unless they take some basic trainings, professional touch doesn't come. Nagas basically all can sing, and it has been tremendously promoted by the coming of Christian Christianity coming to our land. So whether you see are you here the choir singing here in this beautiful home or you go to the village and see the village choir the sound is same and it is both very melodious but tonight we'll have uh, some kind of music uh, to be performed by our musicians and I hope you will enjoy I'm happy that Mizoram is partnered with Dharma. You expect to learn things from us. We also expect to learn many things from you. So it is kind of a friendship and a brotherhood. Because both the states are Christian dominated and our rich cultures also can be extended. Tonight, I especially thank the Honorable Governor and his lady wife for making this program. And I hope with them, we'll all enjoy the evening. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Very good evening to you all. <clears throat> thank you so much. Our anchor, Dr. Vital Soto. Project Director Tafma and His Excellency the Governor of Nagaland, Professor Jagdish Mukhi and Madam <coughs> Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, um, Mr. Nephew Rio and Madam here <coughs> whom I adored. I'm so I feel so honored that face to face, I can have uh, an interaction with them this evening. <coughs> All the ministers who are present here and a member of Legislative Assembly of Nagaland and distinguished guest this evening. <coughs> and I, on behalf of the Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram, Mizoram Thang, a legendary 
uh, leader of Mizoram. Um, I would like to extend my uh, thanks to each and every one of you. And I, on behalf of the Mizoram Youth Commission, and I would like to thank you for giving us this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And um, Mr. Teja Meru, who is a very renowned performer here and is also the advisor of the TAFMA, who is doing an awesome job here in promoting the youth in the domain of Indian music. And Mr. Abu Mehta, the advisor to Honorable Chief Minister of Nagaland, who is a very, very dynamic. Uh, person, uh, having a dynamic personality whom I adored and this evening once again he did he, uh, all the program that he take up again it clicks again so thank you so much for inviting me and the way or all of a sudden why I mean like me why I appeared before you for all the dignitaries who gathered together here this beautiful evening is because of the fact that a couple of days ago, a couple of uh, weeks ago, we organized, Mizoram Youth Commission organized a, a music event uh, one single evening in which Tafma is called and is invited and our humble inv invitation is accepted. They came over there to I saw and then we hooked up to one another. And again, we were invited this evening. We are here at the center of Tafma. I feel so honored and privileged that um, I hope in future that we can walk together hand in hand. And to do that or to hook up to one another, there is a man behind that, Mr. Boom, who is an outstanding guitarist and one of the most uh, you know, renowned guitarists here in this region who is playing for the band called Gumarang before Gumarang. Gumarang is one of the uh, um, <coughs> renowned bands here in the Northeast region. They also perform <coughs> well in, in some gigs of uh, some of the um, uh, biggest gigs in India and some of the events like, uh, which is organized by uh, IITs and IIMs all across the country. And thank you so much, Mr. Boon, for all the uh, endeavor and the initiative that you take up. Now, the government of Mizoram, through Mizoram Youth Commission and TAFMA, who is just doing a very, very outstanding job in promoting the youth of the Nagas. I hope from now on we will work together. I hope that one day we will come out in flying colors promoting the youth at the national level and the international level too. This evening, my dream is coming through. I always wanted to visit Kohima. This is my first time. In fact, I have delivered some of the lectures. I'm a university professor before, and because of the, um, the what do you call the UGC political and civic uh, that right that is given, I enter into politics. And luckily, that with the blessing of the Honorable Chief Minister, Musa Tala, that I become the member of the Legislative Assembly, and he's now assigning me to take the task of promoting the youth of the Mizoram in every way possible, in the, as diverse as possible. That very much includes the music also. So, Mizoram Youth Commission is are constituted uh, to, uh, basically to promote uh, the youth as you are also privy to TAFMA. So we are organ organizing different uh, programs like uh, IAS coaching program and then this time also Super IAS program we are, uh, we are initiating. A couple of weeks ago I, I visited all the academies, uh, IAS academies in the Delhi and I have seen my own eyes where I'm going to put my youth there in Delhi. Their quality, their standard, everything I've checked out myself and I'm so thankful that I have that opportunity. And then coachings for IITs, the JEE coachings and IIM coachings, CAP coachings. 
and different professional courses, coachings that we are taking up, and then organizing of uh, different programs like in, that is related to sports. As you can see, that Mizoram is now becoming the football hub of India. Now, um, um, now the maximum players um, of the Indian football in the I League and the, and the Super League are, 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 are noticed from um, Manipur, but next to Manipur is Mizoram. So in sports also, that we are doing so well. And I, I have an MOU with Mizoram Football Associations and uh, All India Football Associations. And we are expanding our horizon that way also. So touching all the fields of the sports and the academics and skill developments, entrepreneurships, we are now entering. So we are trying to trade double, triple our skills. As you can see that, you know, all the youth of the Bizos and all the youth of the Nagas are highly, highly talented, sir. Your Nagas are highly, highly talented people. In my younger days in the college, I met a couple of, uh, you know, friends and the Naga friends. They are highly, highly talented people. So all the Nagas, um, I admire them a lot. So I, um, so trading double their skills is, is very, very important nowadays. So we're taking a task of that, uh, those challenges we're taking up. So the music also, as our honorable chief minister has mentioned, that choir singing everywhere in Mizoram also. Every church has a very beautiful choir uh, singing and then local uh, individual artists are also there, the bands are also there. But they are now singing the raw form. So if a little bit fabricated or a little bit facilitated by the government, so they can come up with like the thing. So their skills needed to be professionalized. You see, nowadays that professionalization of our skills is very, very important. So look at the Modi's uh, program or the Skill India program. So all this, uh, the skills of the skills that we, the inherent skills or the inborn talents that we have, trading double, triple is very, very important. Convert into profession and convert at the end of the day to money is very, very important. That's why Mizoram Youth Commission is also taking the task, task of all those that all the skills that is possessed by the Mizoram youth, we are trying to, uh, you know, convert into profession at the end of, of the day, money. So, in that way, uh, in the field of music particularly, we are going to, we sign an agreement. Thank you so much all the, the people who are behind the TAFMA and we have we signed an agreement that um, um, to work together in the field of music. So one day I hope that you know, all the youths who are actively involving in the field of music can be liberalized in that way. So this evening also I'm so thankful that I'm representing the government of Mizoram and then uh, when I go back, uh, I will surely inform our Honorable Chief Minister, I will inform everything that uh, a, a night before I even called the Honorable Chief Minister that I'm going now to Nagaland and to pursue our uh, music uh, agreement that we have last time. So uh, he is very pleased with it and when I go back also I'm going to report it. And whatever uh, good things that you have explored already through your TAFMA, I'm going to see it if you permit. So, uh, uh, with that, I hope you know our promotion of the music can also be uh, be, um, <coughs> be expanded in that way. So anyway, this evening I'm so thankful that you have given me this opportunity. I will remember it. And Nagas, and being uh, Nagas who are very proud of their identity everywhere they go, and the Mizos, everywhere we go, we are never shy of you know disclosing our identity. So we're now working together. We, the two communities, the Nagas and the Mizo communities are the champions in the country, I think in the tribal community particularly. So we are, uh, we are hoping that from now on we have a very beautiful combinations in promoting the youth, especially in the field of music. Thank you so much uh, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Sir. Chairperson of the program. 
डॉक्टर अविचल तो चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री नाइफ्यू रियो इज लेडी वाइफ इज कैबिनेट कुलीग्स एडवाइजर्स एंड एम एल एस डॉक्टर वल्लभदा नाम पुरिया पुरिया यूथ कमीशन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ मिजोरम डिग्नीज एंड माई डियर फ्रेंड्स इट गिव मी इमेंस प्लेजर टू बी हेयर आई एम यू ऑन दिस I'm glad to have witnessed the mesmerizing paintings of the portfolio, port portraits of all former chief ministers. Idea of displaying the portraits of chief ministers of Nagaland at the iconic location is appreciable. I also congratulate the local artists for putting the work. and producing such a beautiful pieces of uh, art the portrait painting paintings reveal the inner talent of the naga we know naga tribe have an old and rich decorative culture which shows our interest in art tattoos were done for beautification purposes and most of them was sacred thorough study of the tradition tattoo patterns can reveal priceless pieces of history tonight's exhibition also takes us through the different era of the naga under the leadership of different chief ministers the struggle challenges and the achievements of the people of nagaland have collectively gone through it's a time to emphasize the journey and the pioneering leaders it's also a great moment to retrospect and make a necessary improvement for it this is only the people that will help us achieve the dreams that we all have for our state this beautiful land and its people with their years of rich culture tradition and infinite potential our youth are among the best in the country and world they have excelled in whatever and whichever field they have gone into and so my government and devil would be to help create an ecosystem of the optimum opportunities for them in here in nagaland so that they will not only help overcome the development differential with the most advanced states of the country but how uh, to them today the task force of music and art has come to the aid of this very important field of art and music where the nagas have immense potential talent and uh, interest since it is in such a tough month has come all of to promote artists in nagaland and has successfully done so i am glad to know that tough month and arts has uh, conducted uh, important music festivals and showcased the culture while exposing the local artists Earlier, mostly Western music influenced the world, but of late we are seeing Southeast Asian cultures penetrating the whole world through their music. It's imperative for us, for our country, to develop in the areas of soft power, be it sports and music. I believe Nagaland has a huge potential to be. leader in this front under the dynamic leadership of uh, prime minister sir narendra modi india is uh, on way to fulfilling its uh, long awaited destiny music and art 
can play an important role in connecting the whole country. It is music that speaks to everyone, penetrating to social barriers. I wish Dafma and the arts the very best in promoting the artists in Nagaland and its uh, endeavor to promote literary works, fashion, filmmaking and in the other areas. May God bless you all. Thank you. God bless Nagaland. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Jai. Yeah. First of all, Chief Minister of Nagaland.